Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be learning about the database manager. So if I go ahead and go to my menu, I can go to tools and database, and then I can click on create new table. I can even then choose to edit or delete a table. And then if I click on any of these tables right here, it will show me the current schema for that table. So let me go ahead and close this and let's create a new table. So I'm just going to give this table a name of products and I'm gonna say, no, I don't want to create a model for this table. We have an ID and we will also add a new column and maybe we want to have a name for that product. And I'm going to give this a type of var char and I'll save that as 250. And then let's go ahead, oh, 250, there we go. And let's add a new one and let's give this a possibly description or maybe even body. Maybe we want to have a body that will explain all about the product and we can make this a rich text box. So I'm going to make this a type of text and then I'm going to add my timestamps. So I will add that and then I also want to add an image. So let me actually delete these first, add new column. Let's make this an image and let's change this to a var char and we will set this to 250 as well. And then I will add the timestamps. So let's go ahead and create this new table. And now as you can see, we should have this new products table right here. We can click on products and we can see the current schema. So you can see that in Voyager, you can add new tables, you can edit tables or delete tables. Obviously you'll want to be really careful when you have a live version of your site up, but this will make it really easy when you are developing your application and you need to add a new table or edit a table. So in the next video, I will show you how to add bread to this table and I will show you a bit more about how the bread functionality works.